Storyline 360 supports alternative text for slide objects, so your courses are accessible to learners with screen readers. And in this tutorial, we'll take a look at two ways you can add alternative text to your objects in Storyline 360. So the first way we'll look at is by using the tab order window. And you find that by going to the home tab and then selecting tab order. I just move this over. So the tab order window lets you customize a couple things. You can customize the alternative text for each object, right? So for example, if I come down to the base layer, uh, image dash milk, we could just type in a new name for each of these. And you see that as you click each of these objects, it'll select it here on the slide. So you can uh, verify that the object you're renaming is uh, what you indeed want it to rename. Uh, fries, nope, I think that's coffee, and so on, right? So we can give each of these a, a custom name. And we can also remove objects, right? We can delete their visibility. So for example, top shelf, trapezoid, and rectangle, right? So those are just uh, part of the graphics that make up the, uh, the shelf for the items. They really have no significance here. And we can actually just remove them rather than giving them a custom name, which still really doesn't make them any more relevant with, with, a, with a screen reader, is we can just click delete to remove their visibility uh, right here. So noodles, obviously, we want to keep and so on, right? So we can keep naming these. And so the middle shelf, we probably take out trapezoid, rectangle, because we're not doing anything with those objects, right? They don't add any meaning uh, in terms of being read as objects. The other thing we can do besides renaming these and removing the object's visibility is we can create a custom tab order. So by selecting this option, we can now rearrange these objects so that they, they're read together as, as the, the, the learner uh, tabs through each of these with the screen reader. So for example, if I look back up here at milk, right, and I, the next one over here is plate. Well, this is the current order, but it doesn't make so much sense to go from milk over here to plates, right? I might want the coffee right after the milk, right? So milk and then coffee. And I can also reuse uh, these arrows to nudge these up and down. I find it's still a bit easier just to drag and drop because you're kind of working here and it kind of keeps your focus on what you're working on. Going to move the plate down a little bit, right? So we go milk, coffee, um, noodles, fish, give that a name, right? And then plates, not quite yet. We'll move the plates after the, the Sunday and the fries. Maybe the fries goes up. So that's how you can customize the tab order for each of your objects, as well as um, just out, out give everything a custom alt alternative text name, and obviously whether or not you want to keep those visible. I'm going to click Save. Now the other way you can work is from the uh, accessibility or size and position window. So th these are both take you to the same uh, window. If I click Accessibility, and I can move this over. We also have the same options right here, right? So this checkbox is the same as uh, deleting that object from the list. If I want this object visible, keep that checked. And then of course, uh, I wanna give this a more meaningful name. If this object is selected and I don't change the alternative text, the default name here in the timeline is the name that's going to be read. So each object here is going to be named, uh, read by its name. So s one sunday NP and so on, right? So clearly, I'm going to want to read, uh, rename that to something a little bit more meaningful, right? So just a couple ways that you can work with alternative text as well as the custom tab order in Storyline 360.